If you have ever started a project, a website project, and you have no idea on how to structure the website, the best practices on how to convert more, sell more clients online on your website, today we're gonna figure that out. I'm gonna give you my formula to optimize your website structure and sell more. Let's roll. <music> What's going on guys? My name is Jose Silvera. I'm a website expert, digital marketer, recognized by Google and Bing ads, high management for creating campaigns with over 100% conversion rate. Now, before we start, go and subscribe to my channel, click the bell button so you keep getting this amazing content that I bring you guys every week. Now let's roll. We first start with the header. What is the header? The header is the top part of the website where the navigation menu, the logo, and the phone number resides. Now, besides the phone number, which is critical to have so your customers can contact you and ask you any questions they have, any concern about the product and services you provide, you should also always include the social media icons okay like facebook instagram twitter linkedin google plus tiktok whatever you guys use because that creates trust on your business on your organization it shows that you care and you have a strong social media presence now what i recommend you guys that i always do is to make the header fixed a fixed header will follow the client when they scroll down through the website. Then we have the hero section, which is the, the part where usually there's a carousel, video background, etc. This is a super powerful tool that you guys can use to promote your products, make people click on the buy now button, catch their eye and their attention on your brand, your product and your services. I always, always, always recommend to use a video because video can have over 800% conversion rate over a regular image. Videos have the ability to make people feel and interact more with whatever you do because it's more interactive than a regular image. Then almost always, you should put a buy now or call to action button on the hero section. This allows you to be able to utilize that momentum that you created with the background video and the big claim. Here, you should also always have a big claim that you do. For example, we are the best in the world. We have helped thousands of people to accomplish their goals. This is just an example. It could be anything that you guys can claim a big claim that you guys can do about your industry, anything you have accomplished on your business. The reality is that the average customer has browsed the internet looking for your product around 16 hours before they actually land on your page. The customer could easily know more about the product and the services than you do. So you just want to create a connection with them and ask them to buy now because they might be ready to buy now so you just let them know, hey, you can do it anytime now. If you're ready to buy, we are the people to do it. Then the next section, I always use it for the key benefits of your business, the best products, why they should choose you instead of the competition if you have competition. And then right after that, I put a call to action button, another one. The reason why to put another call to action button just after the first one on the hero section is because after you show them what you can do that others can do or why you're the best in the industry, key benefits or the best products you have, you want to tell them that they can buy now again. And this is done because you create trust and value on your product and services and right after that, 
this client might be ready to go ahead and pull the trigger. Sometimes people require a little bit of pressure to go ahead and do it. Then what I would do is also go and do a quick about us, right? Or something to build trust, more trust. Explaining a little bit more about your business, the years of experience, all the stuff that is relevant on why you are the best candidate for them to actually do business with you and not the other guy. Then right after that, you want to let them know, hey, we've worked with these huge guys, big clients, or you could also do some testimonials. People love to see that other people have also pulled the trigger and that they are happy with their decision on doing business with your company. If people see something super big that you've done, a big client like, for example, Procter & Gamble, Nissan, Sony, whatever big project you've done has a huge power and influence to get these people to say, these guys are the best on their industry. Then what I like to do is also do a blog or video section almost before the website ends at the footer because this lets people know that you're an expert on your industry other than having the big clients and the testimonials this shows them that you really know more than the others about the products the services and the industry now if you have no content whatsoever and you cannot do a blog or videos I recommend you to do a contact form here, okay? Because you want people to contact you with any questions about the product and services that you provide. So you want to be able to communicate with them through your website, besides having the phone number. But this is only if you don't have blog or videos, because the main reason for having a website is to create trust and value on your services and products. Now the last part is the footer, which is the bottom part of the website. Here is where you usually would include anything that you weren't able to include on the other parts of the website, like a careers link, where you do the job posting for your business, terms and condition, privacy, secondary links, or if you just included blog and videos, you can also include those links here or in any other relevant link. Also, you always do here at the bottom of the page, the copyright, the name of, the, of your business, and the year. Now, to distinct each section from each other, what you have to do is do, for example, one in white, one in gray, light gray, and then you could do one in blue, or you could do one here in blue, then gray. What we want to accomplish with these colors is to make a distinction between each section. This will show the content more organized and clean. What I recommend on the footer is to make it a different color than the rest of the entire website, because this represents the end of the website. This is the website structure for a landing page, a home page, or any other page that you guys want to use to convert people, clients, the most. If you use all the stuff that I've explained in this video, your sales are going to blow up. This is what I've been able to develop after seven years of experience. And these are also all the techniques that I use for my clients and my own website. Now you can go to my website and check it out and you'll see that everything that I use here, that I told you here, I use. I've been able to lower my bounce rate and my customers bounce rates to even 30% bounce rates. That is extremely low guys. And you can also download my ebook. It's gonna be linked on the description. It's called the 10 things that every great website has. It's gonna change the way you see your website because your website is a sales machine. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Again, subscribe, like, hit the, the bell button so you keep getting all this amazing content that I keep bringing every week for you guys because I want you to create your own economy and dominate your competition. Peace.